better way to end the year than with a Gymshark video. Can you? Guys, this is gonna be my last video of the year, so I'm really, really excited that it is Gymshark. Most of the pieces are on site as we speak, but the Apex Limit has yet to launch, at least for the US website. I do believe it's gonna be the last Thursday of the month, which I believe is like the 28th. So I'm really excited to get this review up before the launch, but don't get it twisted. We have a ton more to chat about in today's video. Lots of sweats. I know you guys saw that new rest day. Let's start with the Apex Limit. Well, which one is it, Ash? Is it the Apex Seamless or the Limitless? Like, they had a baby and it's now the Apex Limit. From time to time, Gymshark loves to do that. With two different collections, they figure, hmm, why don't we just intertwine the two? Make a little hybrid out of it. And this is what the Apex Limit is. From what I know of, we have three Apex Limit sets that are dropping. We have the color teal, we have black, and we have plum brown. For me, right off the bat, I felt like the overall material is most similar to Apex. The design, the pattern you see, is most similar to the Limitless that launched earlier this year. There's gonna be two waistbands launching in this collection. What? Last time I saw this design with Gymshark was earlier in the year when I was raving about their ruched leggings that were like a one hit wonder, which I'm kind of disappointed because I really loved how it looked on the bum. Well, they, they actually put it on these. For some reason, I don't like them as much on these as I did the ruched. This one's a little more noticeable. It's a little more heavy. Like, just checking it out, that's pretty heavy on the eye, is it not? This is a pretty loud piece to begin with. And then we have a more subtle approach. This actually is screaming the sweat leggings to me, personally, that's the first thing I thought of. It has a slight swooped waistband, which is what I absolutely love about the sweat leggings. That little dip looks fantastic in the front, in my opinion. They didn't add that to the back, thank goodness. They didn't dip it down like the sweat leggings. What I really appreciate about these leggings is that these heavy ribbed waistbands are not very compressive. They're not bad at all. I would say the lift has more compression in the waistband than the Apex Seamless. This is nice and moderate. It's not low, it's not high intense. Now, where I felt a little bit of snugness was right around the thighs. I felt the most compression here, not necessarily around the bum. With that being said, they actually added a crazy scrunch back here. When I first pulled it out of the package, I was very stoked. I was like, oh my God, yes. Gymshark, first you came out with the lift leggings, and now these? You really are just going ham on the scrunch. Y'all saw the light, but when I put them on. Oh my God. First of all, Gymshark always encourages honesty, which is why I work with them. I love them for that, because what I'm about to say, this scrunch is not it for me for a few reasons. Number one, it's a little too much. It's a little too in your face. Mostly because the way that this sits, the scrunch actually hits halfway up my bum and then exceeds my crack, like goes all the way up. So it's a little too big for me. You will see above my bum, there's a nice chunk of extra scrunch that's just chilling, really doesn't know what to do. It's kind of like, you know, where should I be right now? Basically me at any high school dance. In addition, I found that this waistband, that seam comes to a point and that point is a little bit bulky. So that you have a very thick, bulky, pointy seam that just adds to that bunchiness above the glutes. So them together, it's a recipe for not such an appealing look in my opinion. I do wish they approached this slightly differently. I wish that they made the scrunch thinner, a little more concealing. I wish they lowered it a little bit. I do feel like this material has potential to already enhance the glutes without having to try too hard. So I would have liked to see a little more more of a natural scrunch back here. Just a little something to help, but not over the top. I think they really nailed that with the lift seamless, so if they even added that to the mix in the apex limit, I think we would have been in a little better spot. Now the scrunch itself, it's fairly stiff. It's not something I noticed as being uncomfortable to me. I was able to squat, move around. I did a full-fledged workout in this bad boy, and I felt fine back there. You know, unfortunately, I didn't like the look of it, but the feel wasn't bad. I was able to squat, bend, do my normal workout without thinking twice. Now granted, even though this isn't exactly my style and doesn't quite speak to me, I do know that this style is very popular with that grungy aesthetic. Very, very dark gym. I see a lot of gals at my gym wearing scrunches like this. So if it came down to it, you guys are like, okay, but which one do you actually prefer? Do you like the look and fit of the Apex Limit or the look and fit of the lift? I'm absolutely going with the lift. I think they did a great 
great job on that legging. I just cannot wait for them to either A, restock, or B, come out with some more. Now what I'm about to say, and I say this with any brand coming out with a first generation legging, if there's aspects of it I do not like, maybe, perhaps, I don't know for sure, they will tweak things and just make it better over time. That is something I'm hoping will happen with these, especially considering Gymshark does this all the time. I mean, like, welcome back vital, you know what I'm saying? After performing the tread test to indicate whether or not cellulite is to be shown through these leggings, that tread test is like the best thing I've ever done. Walking, letting that natural light hit from the side, that's gonna be able to detect whether or not you're going to see any cellulite when walking and moving. This is in addition to slippage and compression testing, mostly cellulite friendly, where I have it right behind the thighs, very concealing, giving the colors and the pattern. Not so cellulite friendly on the actual bum. I do believe that's because there's a little less compression. And no pattern. Okay, so it's fair game. Also very sweat concealing. Didn't see an ounce of sweat. And the best part is the sweat on the inside dried immediately. I was very, very pleasantly surprised with that. The length was great on me. I overall love the pattern, but I've always been a huge fan of this intense looking pattern. The Limitless was especially loud with their pattern, but I love that. I feel like a freaking superhero. No, it's hit or miss for a lot of people, but me, Gymshark seems to nail the patterns for me. Speaking of Limitless, do you remember how sheer those leggings were? These, uh, opposite of that. The overall material durability feels great to be able to work out in. This is something where if you do anything intense, you'll be okay in these. The material is soft, but not silky, buttery, nothing like that. It just has your normal traditional like nylon fit. If you were to buy the pattern legging, you can feel the pattern. It is slightly raised, adding a little textured feel to it. I did actually test to see if the pattern fades at all or stretches out and looks funky. None of that. Material and quality, similar to Apex. Design, overall patterns, similar to Limitless. So when I was actually putting these on, I felt like I was really trying to just hike them right around the legs a bit. Put a little effort into it. When it comes to sizing because of that, I would not size up. I definitely wouldn't size up because then the bum's just gonna look extra crazy up top. I would stick to your true size. I really think it depends on your glute size. I think the only types of gals that can fill these out is if you have a lot of upper glute. Clearly, I just don't have enough to fill this out and make use of this entire scrunch here. If you're somebody who could fill out the entirety of this backside, this might be able to work for you. Let's chat about the bras. You guys like really zoned in on these bras when I did the unboxing. I think it's this backing. I could be wrong. No, I'm not wrong. They nailed the sports bra. So you do have identical ruching right in the center. They love to do that in their sports bras. It's their favorite design. <laughs> <laughs> it works for this, it does. It is not as big, bulky, and obtuse as the legging scrunch. On the back is where they really showed their creativity. What's that thing that we used to do back in the day? With your hands? Cat's cradle? Yeah. <laughs> is that what it was? In between the fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never understood how to do that. I would help people, like, put my finger in it, but I never actively did it. They didn't simply stop with just the laced up looking back. They added it to the front, okay? So it actually highlights your cleavage a little bit. It's very comfortable when exercising, it's not lifting up. I mean, look right here, like I'm moving around. So as you can see, everything was held in so nicely. You have your removable bra pads. I mean, I love the fact that there's adjustments. This bra is really wonderful. However, I think if you're in between, you ought to size up. Right here is where I feel the most compression. It runs ever so slightly snug here, only if you're in between, size up. Overall moderate support, not even low. All right, I felt like I could do a whole lot in this. This is a very cute, spunky, sporty, functional bra, and I am all here for it. So from here on out in the video, we're gonna breeze through some fun graphics, some really nice loungewear that they just dropped. I know you saw me teasing those cable knits, and if I call it pause by accident, just slap me in the face. I wish there was a button down below that it was slap in, you could just slap me in the face. I keep saying pause, so if I do, it's definitely not the pause collection, it's the rest day. Why am I seeing pause though? So let's start with that, shall we? Oh my God. I saw it on their website actually. I wasn't even able to select these. I didn't have an order form, nothing. It was a surprise to me as much as it probably was for you. My Gymshark girly hooked me up. I said, oh my God, what about these? Sent to my doorstep right away. Thank you for that. Gymshark, you are awesome because I just had to speak about this. Are you kidding? Now we have two different colors. They came out in brown, which I have here, and red 
I prefer the brown off the bat. Now we got some pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> Am I like the only one breaking bad news to you today? I'm so sorry. Now, hold on a second. Before I even talk about these, I know what you're gonna say. I know it. You're starting to type this right now. I know you are. Girl, those price points. $80 a piece. <laughs> Look, I know. They are definitely pricey. I do know that Gymshark has their winter sale going on right now. And I'm hoping by the time you guys see this video, it has not come to an end. Save another 10% with Ashley G. So at least you can get a discount. Right now these are marked at $56 each, which is still a lot. However, it's a very luxurious looking set and it feels luxurious. It just is a luxurious set. This is a super sophisticated festive style. I also think that especially if you were to get just the top by itself, you can do a lot more with it. So if you're thinking about just one piece over the other, absolutely the top. You can style this with the sweat skirt, the high-waisted jean skirt, whatever. But this is such a collegiate look. That academic style with that collar that also has that stripe. Okay, you have a really beautiful contrasted stripe. Very pretty. It really just balances out this whole top altogether. Bay actually prefers it fully zipped up. He thinks it looks better. What do you guys think? Sophisticated. Giving total polo style vibes right here. So this is why I say it's really good for academic. If you're wearing it uh, to school, you wanna stay cozy, comfy, but still formal looking, semi formal looking. It looks super thick the way they designed this, but it's actually fairly thin. The lighter colors here add a lot of volume, but it also makes it look extra heavy and thick, but it's not, so don't get it twisted. There's definitely a nice amount of room in here. If you really wanted to, you could get away with sizing down. Nice little bouncy stretch we have here. Overall, slight oversized fit. Definitely a high to low design, so you can see where it comes and rises up in the front a little bit more down in the back. So when I'm wearing it with a short torso, I have a little bit of stomach showing from time to time. I think with this specific piece, the only hit or miss aspect of this is going to be the front, the length, the overall length. You want comfy cozy, you want to potentially wear it to school or something, then you need full coverage. So the fact that, especially if you have a longer torso than me, girl, and I'm sure you do, you're gonna see some stomach. That's the only downfall to this if I had to pick. Now we have to speak about the bottoms. My heart, my heart broke, okay, when I put these bottoms on because, oh man, I was so close. When I pulled it out of the package, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is gonna be my favorite set of the entire year. And then I put on the bottoms and I realized that the length was so astronomically long on me that it just seemed to be unfair. We have the matching waistband at the top. There's no riding up in the groin. It's all fun and games, man. We are having a damn good time going down here. It's the um, last like five inches that just ruined my life. That's what she said. Uh, what do I do here? <laughs> Help me out. I absolutely love this cable knit design. I mean, when I think the cold winter months, that's all I think about. When I think of sweaters and cozies, comfies, I'm thinking cable knit designs and they really nailed it with this. I knew I would fall in love with this set when I first saw it on the website and that I did if this just wasn't so dang long. The bottoms are too long, the top is a little too short. Why couldn't they just take some excess material here and put it there? <laughs> Okay, let's start talking about some real fun, spunky, sassy, not sassy. A little sassy. Yeah? Yeah, a little sassy. We got some sass up in there. <laughs> okay, we got some sass up in these next pieces. Are you ready? Wait, real quick, before we talk about the spunky, spicy, sassy pieces, uh, I just really briefly wanna talk about this sports bra that I'm getting questions about. We're looking at the strappy back light support sports bra. I wore it in the lift video. A few of you had some questions. I knew I'd be touching base on it right here. Here we go. Now, first and foremost, this is a molded cup. There's no removable bra pads. It is how it is. I don't quite have the chest to fully round these out. <laughs> I'm almost there, which is a big reason why I would not work out in this. I'm honestly seeing bra. That's all I, I see in this. My mind is not thinking working out or exercising. It's thinking, okay, this is a beautiful seamless bra I can wear underneath a t-shirt, which is what I did with the rest of these crop tops. There's not a whole lot to say about this. I'm feeling some snugness here, mostly because it's not very stretchy. You see that? Very limited stretch. So when putting it on, it only stretches out to a certain extent. I will stick to my true size small. If in between though, this is where you gotta do your due diligence and you gotta say to yourself, do I have the boobs to fill this out? Now, where were we? It's giving gym. If you're looking for a pump cover, this is super cute. I cannot believe Gymshark's dipping into the bedazzled look right now. Are you seeing this? 
I remember this design was so popular when like Britney and Christina Aguilera were a thing in the early 2000s. This is giving me nostalgic early 2000s vibes. I'm, I'm here for it. Give me more of it, in fact. Okay, so you guys remember Delia's? Delia's anybody? This is what it's reminding me of. I bought quite a few pieces looking like this back in the day. So I actually grabbed this in a large, which is why it looks so oversized. If you don't need anything oversized, you prefer it more snug, stick to your true size. But for me, the baggier the better. I liked this large because it covered my bum, so I can very casually wear it out and about as I see fit. Cotton base, minimal stretch, you get it. I Heart Gym, they went ham on the I Heart Gym. They came out with so many like fun little sayings, little, I don't even know, almost like, like a young girl's heart. This is like stuff I would just like scribble around on my notebook with. <laughs> Daydreaming in class. I feel like these next few sets you're gonna see are great for like even a younger generation. Size small, it's good. Not a body fit. You can see a lot of excess material, has a, a lot of room to it. Do keep in mind it's pretty sheer too. You can see the white bra underneath it. You gotta wear a white or a nude bra or else you're in for it. 100% cotton right here, so not a lot of stretch. Same thing as what you just saw, different color, different saying. This one says, lift, baby. BBY, that does mean baby, right? Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> Same thing as what you just saw with the I Heart Gym. Not my style to usually wear pink, but when I saw how cute that little heart in the middle was, I said, you know what? This might be a cute little Valentine's Day top. It is only like two months away after all. Same exact crop top style. Are you seeing this? Those aren't cherries. They're weight plates. I want to know who's coming up with these designs, okay? You're pretty clever. They dropped some shorts, and I know what you're gonna say, like, between the pink and this aqua color, you're like, wait, girl, this is completely off season. Where are my Australia girls at? I see you, and I love you. Y'all are in peak summer, aren't you? Catch a way for your girl, please. Hit up some vitamin D for me, because I'm hurting over here. So I actually sized up to a medium in these. I wish I didn't. I assumed, you know, I don't know why I did that, actually. I really don't. I said, you know what, shorts, let me size up. Baggier the better, right? Mm, these kind of do look a little too baggy on me, like I just sized up. You almost have a matching heart. It says Love Jim on it. Very cute. And I do love Jim. Okay, that's my husband's name. It's James, Jim, Jimmy. So we got two pockets. The outline of this heart is a navy blue. And then that matches the Gymshark logo on the back. This is fully plush inside. I wasn't sure when getting any of these sweat sets what the lining's gonna be like. So it's always a surprise with Gymshark. Like, what am I What am I literally stepping into? Speaking of plush lined, I literally don't know why I jumped from the I Heart Gym and now I'm back to I Heart Gym. So we have an entire sweat set here, the I Heart Gym crew sweater and the joggers I'm wearing as we speak. I have to say, speaking of Bay before, like he, the other day he worked out in a plush hoodie. I had to help him take it off of his body because the plush stuck so much, he couldn't physically take it off. So here I am, I'm like tugging on, I'm like, oh my God, why did you work out in this? He did it to himself, okay? You need to be mindful. If you wanna wear plush to the gym, that's your own mistake. <laughs> that is something that is between you and God. This is a size small and it's pretty oversized looking. I have a small in the bottoms too. This is reminding me of the fit of the Gymshark Lifting Essentials where the top and bottom both in my true size, top fits a little baggier, definitely more oversized than the bottoms. The bottoms are more of a relaxed fit in my opinion. So with that being said, true size small, Great for both. If I were to say whether you can size up or down, the top for sure you can size down in. The bottoms I would not size down in. My personal opinion, as I squat, they, they squat with me, if you know what I mean. And now, last but not least, we're introducing their more grunge style. So we have the crew sweater and another pair of shorts. These are nearly identical to the shorts that I just shared with you that are completely made for summertime. They used a black logo on these, so dark on dark gives it that extra grunge feel. Check out the back of this crew sweater. I sized up to a large in this for the sole purpose of literally sharing this with Bay. This is very basement gym, grungy bodybuilding style here for sure. I really love this design when I'm in that mood. I especially love the color for this season. I'm gonna be cozying up in this all the time. The only thing I wish, oh, here it goes. I wish they came out with joggers in this <laughs> and not just shorts. I would have been all over that. Day and night I would have worn this. Damn it. What are your thoughts on the pieces that we shared in today's video? If any of these pieces do speak to you, I would hit it up right away because I don't know when their winter sale is going to end, but only if you're super inclined. Don't feel like you have to buy something. If you really love it, get it. If you don't, don't. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think my favorite piece out of all of this, actually, it's the sweats. The rest day, I wanna say it's my favorite. It definitely is, except for that length. Ah, I just, it's something I can't actually look past. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. And honestly, this is the last video of the year. So I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I love you guys so very much. This year has been, it's been the best. It's been the freaking best, simply because I get to be here with you guys. Little fun fact is I don't really have a life. I mean, yes, I have Bay, but Bay doesn't have a life either. We're just like two peas in a pod. We just do nothing but just chill together and make videos together. YouTube videos together. It is because of you, I get to do what I love every single day and hopefully help you guys out big time. We thank you, we love you. Thank you for an amazing year. We'll catch you next year. Bye.